Hello, I'm fresh out the showers and in the streets of Sarajevo. So check this place out. Honestly, it's pretty cool. Uh, so I got here yesterday from a night train from Mostar and um, just been walking around so far. It's, it's a much bigger city than Mostar. A lot more people, a lot more shops, it's a lot more things to do. And so, might as well, let's just go around, check it out, get up to some markets. Yeah, I found there's a cool market we'll check out. See some history, get some food, you know, the normal stuff. So let's get going. So, I didn't really know until a few days back, but Sarajevo has been such a really influential city over the course of history. Uh, check this out. A little bit of a park here. But basically, the First World War actually kind of kicked off in Sarajevo because when Franz Ferdinand was killed on the Latin Bridge back in the 90s. So the Franz Ferdinand thing happened in 1914. And then in the 90s, so like from 92 to 96, there was a horrible war in uh, Bosnia. Well, in all of Yugoslavia, but Bosnia got hit really bad, a lot worse than the other kind of surrounding countries. You don't really hear too much about Bosnia in media or, or in life in general, but it's actually been, there's been a lot going on in Bosnia over the years. This is the main street that just kind of goes down to uh, the old town. And we're gonna go check out the old town. This is like the new part of main street that goes to the old town. And it's a lot of like little shops, old buildings, stuff like that. One thing that's a little bit different from um, Sarajevo versus Mostar is in Mostar, a lot of the buildings still had those like uh, bullets in the in the walls and everything. So they almost looked shot up to a degree, but you don't really see that here in, in Sarajevo. I think you do, I mean, you definitely do outside the main town, but in the main town itself, not much at all. Wow, just stumbled across this. Check it out. Big church. Hello. Interesting. Oh yeah, see they got like uh, museums about like the atrocities that happened. Dang. That's pretty cool. One of the things that's led to Bosnia's kind of like interesting history over the years is that it's a whole bunch of different like cultural groups and religious groups uh, living in the same place, which caused a lot of the conflict. You got the Bosnian Muslims, then you got the Croats who are Christian, and then the Serbians. I don't know exactly what the Serbians are. I or religious wise, but they all kind of like live in the same region. And over the years, that was kind of how the um, fighting lines got divided across when the war broke out in the 90s. But check it out here. I guess a looks like an old mosque there. It's pretty cool. Check it out here. Maybe we found a little bit of a market. Let's see what's inside. Oh, it looks like a fruit market. Fruits and veggies and flowers. Wow. It's pretty cool. I'm actually pretty hungry. So maybe I'll get some stuff. Veggies. Real outdoor market. The food looks really fresh too. Ooh, strawberries. Might get some of those. Ooh, peaches look good too. Wow. I am getting a few weird looks, but I'm slowly getting a little bit more used to that as I just kind of like whip out a camera in random places. Hello. Hello. Can I, uh, can I get some uh, cashews? Um, can I get 10 mark of cashew? Okay. Thank you so much. They look so good. Oh, uh, oh quick, quick, what is this versus that? Is yeah, well, sauce is fresh. Oh, sauce is fresh. Mm. Yeah. Oh, those 10 mark of that piece. Thank you so much. Mm. I think we're gonna get some cashews. I love cashews. My favorite nut. Thank you so much. Oh uh, no. No, no, some are poor by now. Okay. What are, yeah. Whatever these are. Hmm, interesting. Oh, the cashew is so good. Give me some free nuts. Well, then I'm paying for some nuts. Uh, ten mark. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Ten mark. Stretch. Uh, no, this is perfect. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so okay. good. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> Ciao. Ciao. Oh, wow. I can't wait. Look, check out all these cashews got. For 10 mark, which is um, five bucks for all these caches. Jeez, in the States, these caches would be cost, would be worth like like $20, 20 to $25. These nuts last long. I'll probably be eating these for a while too. Now, let me go drop these off at my, my hotel and then we'll get back on because I don't really I don't really want to be walking around with um, a bag of nuts for the next um, like few hours. But my hotel is right up here. Oh, I can show you it too. Perfect time to show you the hotel, but these caches, geez, what a pleasant surprise. Very friendly lady too. She let me try all other sorts of um, nuts as well. She had a whole bunch of nuts. But these are good. Caches are my favorite. 
oh check this out there's um a train car up there which i've been meaning to figure out how that works because it'd be pretty cool to hop on hop off kind of reminds me of the one that they have in prague where you can just kind of you know there's a whole bunch of these over the city maybe we'll figure that out in this video too maybe not too let's uh let's let's uh get to the other side of the street ideally safely this is probably not advisable um oh yeah and we're going we're going here we go a lot of turkish influence at the hotel which is pretty cool because i really don't know much about turkey at all but i'm quite curious all right so we'll drop these off and get going that was my old room the room i stayed in last night but some people here are super nice and they gave me a new room today which is actually even bigger i think it technically is an upgrade but don't know yeah and then this is my new room that i'm staying out here yeah here we go i think they're like toasted mm. oh they're good they're like toasted cashews toasted or salted and they're delicious i'll keep me happy for a while but anyways like geez we got so much more to explore let's keep going all right fellas so we're back in the main road again check it out but i am running a little bit low on cashew and so most things in bosnia here you have to um it's cash based so card is like taken some places but not all the places so i think i do need to find an atm but this time we're going to go more into um old town there that's kind of cool street music and everything the people here are super friendly super friendly i guess i was thinking the other day like one of the main differences between mosta and sarajevo is so mosta is a lot more of a pretty city more kind of quiet less going on overall and i think there's a lot more industry in sarajevo than mosta uh didn't really know that before i thought they were like the same size but uh mosta is actually it seems to be a lot smaller than um Sarajevo. oh yeah i don't know if you can hear that there so that is the call to prayer another thing i learned after getting to bosnia is that bosnia uh, has a very very heavy muslim population and so you do like that there you get the call to prayer four or five times a day i think it's five times a day and it's um heard throughout the city so we hear it very loud right now because that's a mosque right there oh check it out i think we found a bank we'll get some money all right so we're getting into more of the old town and you can see just check out these buildings like this one right up here it's made out of stone and in old town a lot of the buildings are made out of stone which make it very pretty to just kind of like walk around i love the buildings made out of stone and like you see it a lot in eastern europe check it out it makes me feel like i'm living in a fairy tale so pretty very cool all right so now we are at the beginning of old town and you got a lot of little shops it's pretty touristy today a lot of little ice cream shops or gelato i think it is you got you got uh, some jewelry stuff bags buy buy some stuff i think that's another mosque up there let's go check out that mosque if we can get in it's like uh i've been 50 50 if i can get into mosques like hit or miss i think i might just be going at the wrong times when like it's closed or something i think this is a pretty famous one too oh yeah so prayer time is actually going on right now and um we're not going to stick around for that mainly because i think it's a little disrespectful to film when people are praying so we'll come back when people aren't praying yeah we'll do that yeah so croatia was a lot more crowded a lot more people in croatia a lot more tourists in croatia and it's kind of nice to get back to like a less touristy country where before like i was in montenegro and albania and not too many tourists and Bos is kind of like along the same lines not a ton of tourists here it's kind of nice off the beaten path let's go down here look at these all little stones old cobblestones area Ooh. check it out it's like a hookah lounge oh wow that's kind of fun i do like hookah got some more old stones there looks like shops all that jazz but i'm getting i'm getting pretty hungry too so i do want to have some bosnian food so 
Let's find a let's find like a local, ideally traditional Bosnian restaurant and get some food. Get some food in us.